welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will talk about 1. What are the personal and business uses for any AI-generated art tools? 2. What is Blue Willow and how can you as a small business or individual use the free version of Blue Willow to generate AI art? I will also explain how to get started with Blue Willow on your own private Discord server. Third, the benefits of Blue Willow, how does it compare to a paid version like Midjourney? And what are its limitations? I will then dive into the prompt parameters for Blue Willow. Understand what is accepted and what is not, because it differs from Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Finally, I will play around with the tool and generate some art based on my prompts. As always we'll leave a link in the description for all the prompts and images. So let's get started. Let's start by considering why you would use an AI art tool. I understand that Midjourney is a paid one and not suitable for everyone for their personal use. Stable Diffusion is also free, but the setup is a bit complicated. Blue Willow is similar to Midjourney in the way it works. It uses Discord, like Midjourney. I wouldn't say it's as good as Midjourney, but as a free tool, I recommend this over Midjourney for personal use. If you like it, you can support the team by subscribing to their $5 a month plan, which I highly recommend. Personal uses would include, for example, creating a coloring book for your child. You can use anything to sketch up whatever your child is fond of. Make wallpapers for your iPhone, Android, Windows, or Mac. If you can upscale the art, which has a learning curve, you can create something for your home, like a painting that matches your personal design preference. You can enhance your photographs into stylized artwork using AI. You can create a fan art, maybe your favorite superhero, a scene from a movie, a character from your favorite TV show, or a game or a portraiture of a famous personality you like or admire. You can utilize AI-generated art tools to improve artistic abilities, improve skills, and learn. Or you can use it just for a fun and relaxing hobby. Experimenting with different styles and techniques, without the pressure of creating a perfect masterpiece. If you are a small or medium enterprise, Blue Willow would be a great AI art generation tool to start with before moving on to mid-journey. Let's quickly review how AI art generation tools could help your business. You can use it for Making your graphical advertisements better AI-generated art can generate design ideas for products such as clothing, accessories, or home goods, potentially reducing development time and costs. You can create digital content for websites, social media, or other marketing materials, ensuring consistent visuals to engage your audience. You can use AI-generated art activities as team-building exercises, stimulating creativity and collaboration among your employees. In the education sector, you can create engaging and interactive learning materials for students, such as visual aids, illustrations, or creative problem-solving exercises. There are plenty more uses for generative art tools. I just gave you a small gist of what you can do, especially when using a free tool like Blue Willow. Let's move on. First, go to discord.com. You will need a Discord account and the Discord app installed on your phone or PC. Click on Login. If you already have an account, log in, otherwise, click Register and register an account. I already have an account, so I will go back and log in. Now go to bluewillow.ai. Click on Join the Free Beta. Click on Join Blue Willow AI.
Choose your preferred language. Choose what you want to get notified for. Choose no here for now. If you like their service, I recommend you support them. You can subscribe at any time. After you click finish, you have joined their server. I recommend going and reading the rules first, in case you want to use one of their rookie channels instead of your private server to generate art. There are plenty of rookie channels on their Discord server. Whatever you do here is publicly seen. Like Midjourney, you can invite their bot to your server and generate art there. They don't charge for this service as of now. Go to the plus icon and click on it to add a new server. Then click on create my own. For me and my friends. Then type in whatever server name you like. For this demo, let's say my Blue Willow server. Now you have created your Discord server. Let's invite the Blue Willow bot to your newly created server. For that, go back to the Blue Willow server. On the top right is an icon for show member list. Click on it. Right click on the Blue Willow bot and go to its profile. Here click on add to server. From the drop-down, select your server. Don't change anything here, and click on Authorize All. Go back to your server. The Blue Willow bot has now been added to your server. You can now use the forward slash imagine command and put in the prompts to generate the art. Let's try a simple one. Wow! That worked! Cute cats! You can organize the Discord by creating different channels, and bifurcating the projects instead of putting everything in the general text channel. For example, I am creating a channel called YouTube Blue Willow, where all my YouTube prompts will go so it is separated from my other projects. Let's dive into the benefits, limitations, and general prompting guidelines. The biggest pro is that it's free. Although I recommend you support the team by subscribing, even if it's a minimal plan, it helps. Blue Willow is an excellent place to start learning your prompting skills. With my prompts, you can see how close it is to Midjourney. Currently, I would say it's the best alternative to Midjourney in terms of value and stable diffusion in terms of ease of use. Even with other platforms like Leonardo to AI, which currently has a waitlist to join, Blue Willow is still value for money, and you can access it immediately. As in its current beta Blue Willow is slightly behind in art generation and certain functions and features that Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, or Leonardo provides. However, remember that the other platforms came way before, so it would be just a matter of time before Blue Willow catches up. Prompting is slightly different in Blue Willow. One of the things like like is that after you upscale an image, you can outpaint it in one direction directly from Discord. Blue Willow has version 1, version 2, and version 3, which is the default. To change the version, you can put dash, dash, v, space 1, 2 or 3 at the end. 
If you don't input anything, it will, by default, use version 3. With a simple prompt, vector of a cat. You can see the version 1 image. Here is version 2 using the same prompt. And version 3. Blue Willow only supports the ratios 1 is to 1, 2 is to 3 or 3 is to 2. I tried 4 is to 7 which is used for mobile wallpapers. It just generated a 1 is to 1 image. This is one of the current limitations of Blue Willow. Blue Willow supports negative commands. Negative commands in a prompt exclude certain aspects you do not want in your composure. To use a negative command, type dash dash, no, space, then type keyword 1, comma, space, keyword 2, 3 etc. Let's try that with a simple prompt. The prompt is, cute cat with an abstract psychedelic background no vector, 3D. And this is the image we get. Let's change the prompt to, a realistic cute cat with an abstract psychedelic background, no drawing, sketch. And we get this. I don't know what happened in the first image, but the second, third and fourth are pretty much what I asked for. Seeds are numbers which we can use to get consistency in the art generated. Weights are values assigned in a prompt to indicate their importance. Blue Willow, at the time of making this video, doesn't support seeds or weights. However, on their Discord, I read that it's an upcoming feature. Now the essential Blue Willow 101 is over. Let's look at some complicated prompts. Let's start with a simple prompt, a Mandelbrot set in an abstract neon watercolor splash. If you are wondering what is a Mandelbrot set? The Mandelbrot set is an example of a fractal in mathematics. It is named after Benoit Mandelbrot, a Polish-French-American mathematician. Whoa! This is nice. Now let's play around with it. Let's try changing the prompt to a Mandelbro set in an abstract neon watercolor splash, vibrant, 3D, high contrast, artistic, black background, 8K. Mmm, okay. Not my style, a bit too contrasty, and let's try something else. How about removing the black background and high contrast from the prompt? Yup. This is nice. Let's do one last variation. This time we add floral, pattern and intrinsic details to the prompt. A Mandelbro set in a floral watercolor splash pattern, vibrant, artistic, 8K, intrinsic details. Perfect. Now let's try some photorealistic portraits. Let's try this prompt, portrait of a male, introspective, serene, worldly, calm, wise, pondering, close up. Using Sony A92, lens focal length 35mm, studio lighting, aperture 1.2, bokeh, day, street photography, San Francisco, 32K, sharp focus, Unreal 5 render, photorealistic. Images 2 and 3 are good. Let's try another one. I was finding it difficult to get the desired results for general photographic portraits. So I tried a different approach. I trained ChatGPT with a formula to generate prompts for historical personalities. The first portrait prompt is, Studio Portrait Photography of Abraham Lincoln, Stoic, Dignified, Thoughtful, Honest, and Resilient, Close Up, Using Canon EOS R5, Lens Focal Length 55mm, Studio Lighting, Aperture F-1.4, Bokeh, Sharp Focus, Unreal 5 Render, Hyperrealistic, High definition, muted saturation, vintage, intrinsic facial details, 32K, AR, 2 to 3, no blur, distortion, mutation, 3D, 2D, illustration. Images 1 and 3 are impressive. Let's try the second one. Studio portrait photography of Amelia Earhart, adventurous, courageous, pioneering, independent, and spirited, 
Close up, using Canon EOS R6, lens focal length 35mm, studio lighting, aperture f 1.2, bokeh, sharp focus, octane render, hyperrealistic, high definition, muted saturation, vintage, intrinsic facial details, 32K, AR 2-3, no blur, distortion, mutation, 3D, 2D, illustration. The fourth image is impressive. Let's move on to Vector. Astonishing masterpiece of Vector landscape scenery, fog encircles a wondrous oasis of natural riches, bisque, bister, aquamarine, eucalyptus colors, vibrant, Vector art, digital quilling, digitally enhanced, cell shading, vignette, A, R, ratio 2 is to 3. These are all nice. Let's try one more vector. This one is simple, a multicolored lion's head on a black background, a 3D render by Milton Glaser, chromatic. These are just what I expected. The first and the third ones are in perfect framing. Let's see how it does for this landscape photography. Realistic photo of Jokulsarland Glacier Lagoon, Iceland, long exposure, aurora borealis, galaxy, night sky, hyperrealism, high contrast, 8K. These are good. I have been to this location, and it's exactly how it would look when taking a long exposure photograph. Let's try some drawings. Ink art by David Downton of a beautiful girl with pretty neon hair and realistic vibrant eyes. In an underwater rave with many colorful flowering vines, extremely detailed and gothic style and colors. These are just... Wow! I love them all. This one should be interesting, a crocodile holding a sign with written hungry in it. Cute. <laughs> Let's try the last one, a classic Hot Wheels model speeding through an arid landscape of cacti and tumbleweeds, with a dramatic backdrop of a passing thunderstorm, with ray-traced lighting, miniature appearance, and toy camera style, captured in octane for a sharp, photorealistic 32K image. The first, second and third ones are pretty good. To conclude, Blue Willow is worth a try. They are rolling out new features very frequently. To clear the air, Blue Willow has not sponsored this video, I am just giving my honest opinion. Support them if you can. All the images and prompts will be included in a zip folder on Google Drive. The link will be in the description below. Blue Willow upscales at a resolution of 2048 by 2048. If you want to upscale the images further, check out our previous videos, showing you how to upscale any AI-generated art using Stable Diffusion by 2x to 4x with a free extension. If you have watched till here, thanks. Please, like and subscribe, and hit the bell notification to receive a notification as soon as we upload a new video.